You were not. Is no. this right? You were not a five or a four no, star. No, I was. Would you remember being recruited and kind of and kind of how would you how would you describe yourself as a well, for, as a star yeah, coming yeah, out? As, as a star, I would have been a zero star. I don't <laughs> think they even knew about me. If it wasn't for my uh, my uh, high school coach Tom Sharp, he just right. kept pounding down doors, and finally he got. I mean, I got recruited by no one. I'm th Division two, II, Division three, nothing. Right. And then uh, he kept. He was his persistence. He got. Tom Bradley to come and watch me play basketball, which I think at the time I was, you know, averaging 25 and I had a terrible game. I think I had three points, but he, and he left at halftime. I said, right. oh man. And then, you know, I get a call the next week. He like, that's all he need to see is the way I yeah. you know, jumped and the yeah. aggressiveness and stuff. So, yeah, yeah so that hey. was it. I got one offer and accepted and that's- Penn State was your wrote. only offer. Uh, yep. Wow. That's and it. look and look look what uh, look what they landed. And you, when you uh, when you got to Penn State, do you remember the first time you kind of made an impression? Yeah, I think it was it was it was my. You were not the biggest guy. No, I, I weighed in at 187. <laughs> you know, same height, basically six yeah. two. But they could tell I yeah. frame was pretty good. So, yeah, I think it was it was first or second practice. We did one on ones with the tight end. I remember Walker Lee Ashley was there. You know, he was a senior. He mm -hmm. was a big stud at the time. Right. Right. And uh, and I get to go against Mike McCluskey, who was a starting, sure. you know, real good tight end. And we we're doing one on ones. He tried to block me, and I, I got him pretty good, and kind of rocked him back, and pushed him down. And, and that's when it started, I guess. Everybody's laughing, high fiving and stuff. Right. And uh, I, I, and Scrap tells a story that Joe is like that. That's that kid with the skinny legs did that to our study. You know, something like that. It was like it's kind of funny. <laughs> but yeah, it worked. It, from there, it kind of went. Pretty well. Yeah. Obviously, your college and your pro career kind of speak for themselves. You you you, you were at, you said eight to, to right, Buffalo, right? Uh -huh. Even though somebody traded up, right? Yeah, to five. You thought it was going to be. Yeah, they called me. Uh, the Browns called me the night before and said that they were going to trade Chip Banks and move up to the fifth spot, and they were going to take me. And yeah. I remember they did it, and they say in a trade, Cleveland Browns select linebacker from you know, where it was like Duke University. Like, yeah. Mike Junkin. Uh, yeah, Mike Junkin. So. I fell a couple more spots, but You're, I got. You to did not the, take that well. No, I didn't. So I just went outside <laughs> with my brothers and shot hoops, uh -huh. and then and they announced uh -huh. uh, in the eighth pick. I could hear my mother screaming, and yeah, yeah, everybody screaming. Uh -huh. So I said to my brother, "I guess, I guess we got. I got picked." And I didn't even know until I went inside, uh -huh. and I said, "Then you know, Marv called uh -huh. and everything else." Uh -huh. and Bill Pullman, it was great, perfect spot for me.